back folks. So in today's video, I'm going to go over what I did this week in the way of therapy. If you're new here, welcome. I'm just some crazy American who moved to Germany a long time ago. And I'm right now receiving rehabilitation for a tumor I had in my head three years ago. And as I said this video today, first I'm going to go over and show you what my schedule looked like each day. And then I'm going to give you a little bit of information about each therapy I did. At the end of the video, I will sum up my thoughts from the week. I've also decided that I'm going to make a playlist dedicated to just this three week trip I have here to this rehabilitation facility here in Germany. Originally, I thought I would keep these videos in my stupid tumor playlist where you can find all of my information and ramblings about everything I've gone through since finding out I had a stupid tumor in my head. But then I thought it might be a good idea to just make a rehabilitation playlist. As I have stated in the past, my goal with making these videos where I talk about my health issues was to reach others. The tumor I had only hits 1 in 100,000 people each year, approximately. And in the last three years, I have actually found it very, very difficult to find proper treatment, therapy, and such for my variety of issues. So I'm hoping, should another person out there with an acoustic neuroma tumor or one who just had it removed stumble upon my little channel here, and maybe they're having just as many problems as I did in the way of finding help for the variety of issues one can have after having this stupid tumor, well, I thought it might be handy for people like that to just have a section labeled rehabilitation. So enough with the chit chat. Let's get into what my first week at rehabilitation looked like. So today is Tuesday and this is what my schedule looked like. So the first appointment today was just a bunch of us sitting in the conference room, getting some information, learning about some various relaxation therapies they offer here. Things like something called, um, in German, progressive muskel entspannen that basically involved like um, concentrating on your muscles, for example, tightening your fist and then loosening it, um, various things like that to learn how to like relax your body. And they have things like meditation, um, they mentioned something else I have actually tried before and hated where you like lay there and you close your eyes and somebody tells you a story and you try to visualize it as a way to like relax. They mentioned Tai Chi. I would very much like to try Tai Chi even though I'm pretty sure I will fall on my butt. And a few other uh, relaxation things like, like breathing techniques and such. And that appointment was just to explain to us um, the little things we will dabble in and options that we can choose from. Second appointment I had today, I was a little confused because on my schedule it said Rue EKG. And I thought, what is this? I know what an EKG is, but what does Rue mean? Well, well, I never found out what that meant, but I got an EKG and it was super. This always makes me chuckle because of how I've lived my life. I have not always lived the healthiest way in regards to smoking and drinking. I'm definitely a lot better now. I kind of got no choice. Don't really get the urge to drink when you're dizzy and well, the smoking, I know it's not good for me, so I do try to keep it at a minimum and I smoke the lightest, weakest grandma cigarettes there are. But the point being, I try not to smoke much. Like, if I'm not really stressed, a pack can last me a couple days. So I'm just saying the EKG was good and that always tickles me because they usually tell me like I have, like, like it's similar to like an athlete. The appointment after that was physical therapy. I did a lot of various balance exercises, standing on a piece of foam and trying to step forward, step back, balancing while sitting on a ball, and she would try to push me one way and i try to resist against it. Um, it was fun. I feel like that kind of stuff helps. I have some experience in that thanks to a friend of mine. Shout out to Martin. So I feel like that was really good. I don't know how often in the week I can do it because by the end of it, ah, uh, my head hurts. You know, I just start feeling all my issues. But I always feel like it's it's good, even though it leaves me with like some back pain, leg pain. 
I feel like this this has to be helping. I mean, like even if it's not retraining my balance organ, at the very least, the one thing I realized through doing physical therapy is it's making me stronger and um, more able to like stabilize myself. When my body's wobbly or whatever. This is why I have thighs of steel. Well, I'm glad I had the physical therapy. Looking forward to more, even though it'll have me in bed early. And then the last appointment of the day was uh, something they called gong sticker height. And I made a joke on Instagram that I was going to gang therapy. Sticker is the word for safety. Gong is like uh, like when you're walking, moving. I feel like the word's failing me in English right now. I think that's funny when that happens. I remember German words and forget the English words. But basically, um, there was like a walkway with some minor obstacles and like what we were walking on changed from like a soft footing to like a stony footing. And uh, this lady just had me and this other dude walking back and forth, uh, first normally so she could see. The next one was uh, like a drunk driving test, toe to foot. Um, and then other things like where, where now we had to take a step, put the foot high, put it down, lean into it, lean back. That one was tricky. I lost against the other guy. He was he was quicker than me. <laughs> but I felt like that was good too. And all the appointments for today were already done by like lunchtime. And in the morning when I looked at that schedule, I thought, well, that's not much. But by lunchtime, it was more than enough. And I'm just going to throw this in there even though it's not therapy. I'm really happy that I had a delicious lunch today. Broughton sauerkraut mashed potatoes today. That was my dream. Ever since I moved to Germany, my favorite meal is a broughton. Any broughton, my favorite broughton is sour broughton, but if it's broughton on the menu, I'm into it. I love me some kraut, and the mashed potatoes were good. Like, real ones, not powdered ones. There were lumps, so that made me happy. After they came in and I just laid down for a little bit to rest myself because I was feeling dizzy, the head was feeling full and I was feeling tired. But uh, I got up a little later and went out and did a round around the park and in the little forest attached to it. Took some pictures, posted it to Instagram for you folks. And I think I should throw in long story short, today was much better than the previous days. And I am feeling a little better mentally about the whole situation um but i also filed a formal complaint i forgot to mention that <laughs> i filed a formal complaint i spoke to a lady just about what's going on at meal times and no social distancing and the mask shenanigans she's gonna look into it and that was pretty much the day today so uh let's see what tomorrow brings all right folks it's wednesday and this is what my schedule looked like today yeah, so the first appointment I had today, physiotherapy, um, I can only compare it to German voodoo. This woman did some kind of weird pressure touching massage stuff all around the scar on my head where they took the tumor out. And it left me feeling really weird. Like, bizarre. She had warned me that could happen. But very, very interesting is, a couple hours after it, I realized my neck actually feels better than it has in a long time. And awesome is, I should have more of those appointments coming up. So that was good. Then I had a gong sicker height, although, you know, this is a therapy to just start to make me feel safe with going, walking. And I just walk through, I can't even call it an obstacle course, it's just kind of like a hallway and I go across different types of floors, stony, flat, foamy. And then she has me do different things, like I walked backwards today, or lift my leg high. I mean, eh, I do pretty good for someone with a broken balance organ, I guess. And I feel like it's a useful exercise. At the very least, it's uh, keeping me strong and making me concentrate on what I'm doing. So that's useful. I should have more of those as well. But the last appointment of today was probably the best and slightly funniest yet. See, my last appointment was um, with a neuropsychologist. Forgive me, I can't pronounce half of those words. And... So this guy just wanted to go over everything, like uh, how I felt since the tumor got taken out, what kind of treatments I've been done, how I'm doing mentally. We talked about my memory problems. This made me really happy. I mentioned that I'm really worried because I have real concentration and memory problems. And I told him my current therapist thinks that that's a side effect of depression. 
that's a well-known side effect of depression. A lot of people that have depression have memory problems. But I'm telling you, this is not like I ever experienced before I had that tumor. So I think it's fantastic that we're totally going to look into it here. They're going to give me all kinds of tests. That felt good. Like, I felt like I'm finally getting something I was kind of looking for for three years now. So looking forward to more appointments with that guy. But the funniest thing was when I mentioned I had a tinnitus, this horrible loud ringing in my ear, he asked me if I had had it before the tumor. I mentioned, well, I used to work at concerts and I'm an idiot, so I always had some kind of tinnitus for a bunch of years. But not like this. And he says, oh yeah, what did you do at concerts? I explained to him I sold t-shirts and how did you get into that? So I had to mention the Bloodhound Gang. I started with them in 2006. And I'm a pretty good read of a person. Um, he knew who Bloodhound Gang was. He smiled and acted very interested and immediately said to me, Oh yeah, doesn't Evil Jared live in Berlin? No! Is honestly what I do on the inside because I don't know what this person's going to think of me. Are they going to judge me? Is it going to be like that one job interview I had where they asked me in the job interview had I ever been peed on or puked on because I worked for Blood on Day? I'm just saying they have a bit of a reputation. I'm always kind of worried that people are going to push that reputation onto me because I rolled with that gang. But nonetheless, um, I feel like my meeting with the neuropsychologist was uh, really a great thing and I'm psyched about the upcoming appointments I'll have with him and the various tests I'll get. Other than that, there's not much to write home about, as we say. Um, I did go for another walk in the park. I made a little video working on my balance. Yeah, that was my uh, Wednesday. What is this? Day three. Day three of an American in Germany getting rehabilitation for the stupid tumor she had in her head. It is getting better. The situations in the beginning that were bothering me, um... They're still kind of bothering me. There's still some stuff going on here, social distancing in mass direction. But I'm just trying to keep my own distance, keep my eye on the ball, and concentrate on my appointments and doing my things. But that's where we are. I'll come back at you soon with the next day. So, here we go. This was Thursday. One, two, three, four real appointments. Again, for the English speakers. Essen is just food. Skipped lunch, but that's a whole other story that I might have to just make a whole other video about. But let's just keep up with telling you what I did today at rehabilitation in Germany. So the first appointment today was just about aftercare. Aftercare after I get out of rehabilitation here. Do you guys like my look? I just got out of the shower. They offered uh, three different programs paid for by the retirement system here. Long story short, none of them are really for me. They more seem to be aimed at people with uh, like more physical issues that need to lose weight and build muscle and stuff. I got muscle and I need to gain weight, so... I confirmed with the doctor afterwards. I was like, I don't think any of these are for me, right? And he was like, no, not with your issues. And then the next appointment, I don't want to say it was because of my formal complaint. But it might have been. We were all called to the conference room to go over hygiene rules, you know, social distancing and such, hand washing. And everybody was reminded about, you know, safety measures to take when they leave the property because we can leave the property here. But the appointment after that I found quite interesting and impressive. I met with what they call in German the Uber Erzt. The top doctor, the boss doctor, let's call him the head honcho. Really nice guy, comes and visits me in my room. Apparently this will happen once a week. We just go over like uh, what I think of what's going on here, how I'm feeling, how I feel about the programs that they've offered me this far. I've only done a few things, but I told him I am actually impressed with like the actual therapy and the therapists I've met. And that's true. He then pretty quickly brought up a uh, that the retirement system, that's the government system that pays for me to be here. I'm saying this to explain it to like my American friends and family how this works. I know you Germans and Europeans probably have an idea how this stuff works, but as an American, this is all new to me. He explained to me that he would like to offer me another week and that he had to do it so early. You know, I've only been here. This is like my first real week doing things here. 
he had to offer it to me so early because they have to file the paperwork and you know typical german lots of paperwork that's gonna take time to get processed i get that very politely said no thank you and i told him that yeah i'm still having a really hard time dealing with the lack of interest in abiding by for example social distancing rules and such now nobody seems to care he was actually ever so polite right back to me, completely understood it, and was respectful, and I really, really appreciate that and admire the guy for that. Way to go, head honcho. This is where it's going to get tricky, because after that, um, let's just say I had an incident. My incident may or may not have resulted in me having one of the worst panic attacks I've had in years, which resulted in me staying in my room and not going to lunch. And then, I had my last appointment of the day, I think that was at 4 o'clock, so I put on my big girl panties, and I attempted to go to a relaxation class, just after having one of the worst panic attacks I've ever had. I tried, I laid there, the lady basically was giving us breathing exercises, like telling us how to breathe in and out and at what pace. The room was nice and dark, there was a fan going, and we're all laying in like these nice reclining, very comfy, easy chairs. My body as usual has a hard time calming down. But I did my best to just stay quiet, lay there, tried to do the breathing stuff. But I was still disturbed from the incidents I had had earlier in the day, which is also attached to incidents for the last few days. But if I feel like getting into that, that'll have to be its own video. Some of my Instagram people know what I'm talking about, I think. Long story short, the best part of today for me was I uh, then left, went to the local supermarket, bought myself a giant salad and a bunch of already cooked chicken pieces, and I laid out my towel in the park and I ate my dinner in the park, and afterwards I laid up and I looked at the sky. And I stared at the clouds for hours, and it was great. That was seriously my favorite part of today. I really, really enjoyed it. I'm up here in the mountains and the clouds were just really nice to watch. Kept my attention and relaxed me. Well, tomorrow is Friday. Let's see what that brings. I'll be right back at you soon. It's Friday. First appointment of the day was art therapy. Got to paint on some canvas. Really sweet was the lady beginning the class talking about how all day long we're all concentrating on our disabilities. We're all working on our disabilities. And that this hour was to be used to free our mind and not concentrate on that stuff. And I love that because I do that a lot at home. I love painting. It's good for the soul. At least for me. Second appointment was speech therapy. That lady was amazing. She took the time to talk to me, get to know all of my issues, what I have difficulties with, what changes I've had, everything. We went over everything. This is the first time, three years since the tumor's been taken out, this is the first time I got offered help on all of this, my facial paralysis and such. I got some good tips from her, and I got exercises to work on. As soon as I'm back in my room, I'm going to start. After that, I had gang sicker height, gong sicker height, more walking balancing, just exercises to work on my balance, and I'm realizing I have to work on more good posture. I have to keep my head and shoulders up, but it's really difficult. I really think I look more drunk when I have my head and shoulders up. I feel like I don't have as much control on my feet, but I'm glad we're working on it. And at the end of the day, I had Entspannung, relaxation time. I was in a lazy boy chair again, all the lights out. Lady didn't decide to turn a fan or open a window, so it was like 30-some degrees in there. And it was one of those exercises where they play relaxing music, and she is basically telling us to, like, visualize we're on a boat, and you're going out to sea, and you're leaving all your problems behind. Hey, I, it seems to work for some people. I heard snoring. I'm jealous of them. But for me, I feel like a little kid that's just trying to stay still and behave myself and not cough and hold on tight to the bottom of my shirt. I'm just not good at that kind of stuff. All right, afterwards I go out into the forest, into the woods, and I lay down, and boy do I relax. Nature relaxes me. But I think it's good to give me some training on how to get there to that relax mode. Because I definitely have to work on that. Oh, it's been a long week. But yeah, that was uh, Friday. Next up to sum up the whole week. 
Where better to sum up the week than in a peaceful German forest? Well, this week for me was very long, very hard. I think I would describe this week as being like a roller coaster. It had its ups, but it had its downs as well. As is life, right? So, first off and foremost, in regards to my rehabilitation here at this clinic, I have been greatly impressed by both the programs I've been given and the therapists that run those programs or do them with me. Even though it's only the first week here, I would have to say that some of the information I received, some of the therapy I've already started, I can only describe as a gift. A good example would be the speech therapy. The discussion I had with that lady about the nerves in my face, the way they're damaged, how slow moving the changes have been in it, and how to improve upon all the exercises I've been doing to try to make this side work as good as this side. All of that information is stuff I have been seeking for three years. And I felt like every doctor pretty much blew it off as, that's cosmetic, so we're not gonna talk about it. But I've been lucky enough to have a friend that's a physical therapist, and of course, YouTube is very helpful. And on my own, I've been looking up various ways to work on these muscles and try to bring my face back a little bit. And as I said, the conversation I have with that lady and the information she gave me is seriously a precious gift to me. I believe I will see her once a week while I'm here. And she gave me all kinds of exercises to do in my room, as well as things I never thought of, like using a hot towel on my face to relax the muscles first. You see, this all feels heavy. It feels like there's lead in there. All of the physical therapy I've received, walking exercises, balancing exercises, I find very useful and left me exhausted by the end of the day, which is actually a good thing for restless me. I know I've said it before in other videos, I try to keep moving and stay fit because I realized with these balance issues I have, all of the muscles that I have in my legs, for example, have been my lifesaver in attempting to get my life back with all of these issues. So I am beyond thankful that I am getting really good training in regards to my balance problems. If I had to pick my favorites from this week, well, it's definitely going to be art therapy. Honestly, in the way of what we can do in there, nothing special, but I really appreciated how it was presented to me as this was a place that I'll get to come once a week and not have to concentrate on all of my issues. And I love that because that's exactly what I do at home. I paint quite a bit and it does me good and it does take me away sometimes. So I got busy right away in that class painting on some canvas. I think I get to do that every Friday now. Oh, what was also a really big gift for me. Probably gonna say it wrong. The neuropsychologist. When I met with that neuropsychologist guy, first off and foremost, I was really thankful that he was just such a really nice and easy to talk to human being. Second, I was very thankful that he was well versed in the specific tumor I had, even though it's rare. This has been an issue. <laughs> I've been having a hard time finding doctors that are well versed on this rare tumor. And it was the first time, it's been three years since the tumor was taken out. This was the first time when I mentioned to him that I think I have real concentration problems as well as I'm forgetful. And this was the first time he looked at me and he said, that could absolutely be connected to that tumor that you had. You see, in the last three years, I have in fact brought it up, I would say within the last year, to at least two different doctors, my concern about my concentration and forgetfulness. The thing is, I was always a little hyperactive, so concentration was never really my thing anyway. And I have fought with depression since my teen years, and forgetfulness is very typical by depression. So the two doctors I've been telling this to pretty much tell me to not worry, it's probably just depression. 
And so this neuropsychologist is now going to run specific tests on me with that. That is a huge gift to me. Thank you, Germany. And yeah, on a personal level, I had some difficulty when I got here. I had some difficulty adjusting. Um, I had some sad times. I got the sads. I had a panic attack. I got the scareds. But eventually, I got over my sads and my scareds. And I put on my big girl panties. And I went right back at my therapy. I was a little relieved to find out that I'm not the only person that maybe has a rough time adjusting to this kind of atmosphere or this kind of program. It's always nice to hear from people that say, oh, I've gone through that, or oh yeah, I've experienced that. And a lot of you have done this for me in the comments over a lot of my videos. It's nice knowing there's people out there that understand and or can relate. And when I had my rough moments here, I was really thankful for some friends. So I feel like I'm going to leave it at that for right now. I believe we've got two weeks ahead of us. I should be here until the 28th. I feel like now I'm in the flow of things. Starting to feel more comfortable with my atmosphere. So I hope this means the next two weeks should be a lot easier. Maybe even enjoyable. So yeah, long story short. If I had to describe my feelings about the last week in one word, even with the bad stuff, I would say thankful. The good, meaning the help in the form of rehabilitation that I'm receiving here, well, those goods so outweigh the bads. Quite honestly, this is one of many, many, many times where I have to say I'm very thankful that I am living in Germany. I am very thankful for your system here. I know it's not perfect. Nothing or no one is perfect. But me as an American, this is beyond impressive. This is really a godsend. I say that as not a religious person. So I thank you all for coming along for this bumpy ride. I will continue to give you updates. I've also been using my free time here to wander through the forests and the parks. I've been really enjoying my time out in the forest and in the parks. And not just because I'm trying to avoid some weirdo dude that won't leave me alone and just keeps trying to talk to me. Right, so let's end it on a positive note. Armstrong is thankful. Armstrong is nervous but looking forward to the next two weeks. So thanks to you all again for your support, and until the next video, or until the next update, please take care of yourself.